Welcome to this video. Today I'm gonna try out something different. This is the Surfy Beer River. It's a spring river, all analog. There are spring inside. So let's find out together. So this pedal has been sent me from Surfy Industries. Basically, this video is sponsored. However, all the opinion, all thoughts, are mine, personal, as always. I've met Lorenzo from Surfy Industries the first time at Guitar Summit 2023. It was a, a pleasure to meet Lorenzo. He's a really great guy and he really loves surf style of music. He's not my kind of music. Today I'm trying to explain everything as well as possible about this uh, pedal because he's not my genre and sorry for my playing because he's not really into that kind of style but I try out because it's really good and I really also like this kind of style it's also really inspired me so what is the Surfy Beer River actually this is the compact version because there is also the full version it's just a bit fuller in sound there is a video that I link down below because uh, Lorenzo explained you everything about the differences between the compact version and the full version so this is the compact version is more uh, for traveling of course because it's compact and it stays very well in your pedal board and there are also some goodies inside because as you can see we have the possibility to use two kind of mixers so on the fly you can switch between a uh, low level of reverb or high level of reverb you can also adjust the decay and d well because this is a compact version and if you want to make it sound like a long version the springs behavior is totally different of course and you have to tweak something let's now introduce you the pedal so all the features and of course then i'll show you some samples the pedal is all in metal so this version the compact version is in metal and it's true bypass this is really important it's true bypass you have this knob on the top volume the volume is very important because when you engage the reverb you have to expect some sort of increase on decrease in the volume and with the volume basically you match the volume with or without the pedal engage it mixer you have mixer one and mixer two and you can see also this led so with this knob basically you will switch between mixer one and mixer two and you can adjust like i i'm doing right now basically mixer one is with lower level of reverb maybe to use it always on and the mixer two is basically to maybe do some solos to listen more the reverb then you have the tone you will darken or brighten the tone decay is the length of the spring reverb and the well is basically the noise so how much mess you want to uh, listen in your signal so basically is the the kind of spring noise that, that kind of spring spring that you will listen so basically more the well more mass you will increase in your signal okay the pedal is now connected via the sender return of my marshall jvm 410 uh, amp head and i'm using this tokai lp style with p90 humbucker really really great guitar straight to the amplifier and i'm using the david laboga tight Celia with mamzer 30 speakers speakers and it's basically my tap with two different microphones the jay-z vintage 11 and the lotan audio ls208 directly in my where is here my origin studio synergy core and i'm recording with studio one actually i'm not recording so it's better to record so let's listen how it sounds <laughs> So if I switch the mixer to one, basically I have lower amount of reverb. I want to mention that I'm using this really good memory pick by Agate Peak. You have the link in the description if you want to listen because this is, is, is in, this is in stone material and this is why it sounds really good with electric guitar ok 
Okay, now let's listen more. The tone closed. It's really bright. The decay all the way to the left, so it's very short. You can listen to this noise of the spring. Is this D well? Really tiny in the background. I can longer just a bit the decay. It's really in the background because the D well is very, very low. Let's increase the D well. More D well, more mass. Short and decay. Longer decay. We can also try out this with just a bit more gain. But maybe it's better with short reverb. Lower reverb, sorry.
Oh, by the way, behind this pedal, you can see also the springs. As you can see, there are the springs inside. Uh, three springs that are moving right now. <laughs> and if you touch the springs, you can create really strange noise. So guys, you have the link in the description if you want to purchase the Surf Beer Reverb, really great pedal, really well made, really, really cool to have. So thank you to Surfy Industries, leave a comment below, let me know what you think about, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.